The image of war is now created by military and political powers. Television's job is to translate it into mythology. Everybody remembers Jessica Lynch, the 19-year-old private captured in an ambush and rescued by American special forces. The story started like this. With that, I'll take your questions. Tom. Now, Brooks, uh, <clears throat> we noticed that uh, you made no mention of the rescue of Jessica Lynch and the special operations that went on. We understand that there is video taken by a combat camera team. Can you show us that video? Uh, we did have the opportunity to have a combat camera crew with the assault force, and we'll show you only the portion that has a PFC Lynch being retrieved. Uh, do we have the tape? Incredibly, the cassette was already queued in the VCR. It was in the Saddam Hospital in Anasarabia. And the commentary was prepared. We were successful in that operation last night and did retrieve PFC Jessica Lynch, bringing her away from that location of danger. This single video clip produced and directed by the Army is the only document of Private Lynch's rescue, the basis of a story that developed over seven months. Sources say ABC the same day. Extraction, which means Army Rangers would secure the perimeter of the TV runs with the story ABC with a dramatic 3D animation based on unnamed sources. To the waiting Black Hawk helicopter. It was in a rocket CBS the same day. A military post that had been Lynch's uncomfortable home for 10 long days. We've just arrived here at Saddam Hospital. It was here she lay suffering from two broken legs, a broken arm, and multiple gunshot wounds, being treated not by a doctor, but by an Iraqi pharmacist. Now it's serious wounds and incompetent doctors. CBS doesn't name their sources either. The Pentagon says she is the first American prisoner of war to be rescued from hostile territory since World War II. The headline in the Washington Post, she was fighting to the death. In it, Private First Class Lynch is portrayed as a kind of Rambo. The source, U.S. officials. April 12th, Jessica Lynch is a certified hero and a media celebrity. 600 articles have been written about her. Television networks compete for an interview. MTV offers her a show. Her agent negotiates a million dollar book deal and NBC prepares a television movie, Saving Private Lynch. It's very important to us as Americans to bring back our fellow soldiers. Uh, but most importantly is to bring back somebody like Private First Class Lynch, who was risking her life on the battlefield. One month later, journalists arrive at Saddam Hospital without a military escort. Their investigation turns the story on its head. Private Lynch hadn't been shot in a firefight, as earlier reports suggested. ABC, May 7th. She to have broken her leg when her truck overturned. An orthopedic surgeon who was due to set Private Lynch's broken leg the following morning says U.S. soldiers put a gun to his head as they burst into the operating room. We start shouting, we are doctors, don't shoot. The hospital staff says there were no Iraqi troops on the premises when the Americans rushed in. They had all left the morning before the rescue. The soldiers broke down doors in the intensive care unit when they could have just asked where she was. Private Lynch has yet to give her own account of her captivity here or her rescue. She remains in seclusion at the Army's Walter Reed Hospital, reportedly suffering from amnesia. And also June 17th, the Washington Post revises its original story. Does it make any difference? No. The myth of Jessica is stronger than the facts. Thank you for being here. It's July 21st, Private Lynch is decorated for bravery. She is just 20 years old. But Jessica Lynch comes home with the experience of a long, painful journey. I would like to say thank you to everyone who hoped and prayed for my safe return. Whether or not she will be able to remember that time period. One month later, she retires from the Army and takes up a media career. November 9, NBC airs the telefilm Saving Jessica Lynch. In light of its serious nature, there are no commercial breaks. Variety calls it Mission Impossible But Real. But while the November 11th, Veterans day, day. It is clear that Ms. Lynch has been taken into many American hearts. She's done her first television. Her book is published. 
ABC wins the scoop of Jessica's first interview. So just okay. to get this clear. Yeah. Did you fire your weapon back and did you kill any Iraqis? No. No. My weapon, the jam, and I did not shoot. Not Even a... Jessica admits her story no. was false. No, nothing. But the lies and manipulations didn't matter. It was too late. The Pentagon had written a perfect television script, and that's what remains in memory.